So, the 2016 NFL season is officially getting underway, which means now i got to get back in the habit of doing my weekly pick videos. How it's going to work this year is that I'll try and have the pick video up either Friday and Saturday of that week. For the Thursday night games, you'll have to go to Twitter. Uh, at the Jeff Schlegel is my Twitter handle, and that's where you can see my pick for the Thursday game. Even though I didn't tweet it out this week, my pick for Thursday night was Carolina Panthers, so of course I'm off to an 0-1-1 start for the season. <laughs> Them's the breaks. But a long season we have to go. I, I always am a little hesitant to do pick videos for week number one because if there's ever a week that's a big-time crapshoot, it's this one. Because we can think we know, but until the cleats actually meet the turf, we really don't know how the season's going to break down. So as much as anything else, week one, there's not a whole lot of analysis or science that goes into these picks. Um, it's just kind of going off of feeling and instincts and projecting some matchups maybe, but not a lot. Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to rattle through some of these picks, talk about a couple of the uh, exciting or key important games. I'll take Tampa Bay over Atlanta. For some reason, this game just sticks out to me. I think Jameis Winston will have the ball in his hands late, and he'll find a way uh, to lead a late victory over the Falcons. So I'll take the Bucs. Uh, Minnesota, I have losing to Tennessee. I know it sounds crazy. I mean, Minnesota starting Sean Hill. Maybe Tennessee at home can catch Minnesota a little bit on, on a downward, um, I don't know how you want to put this, but downward momentum. Uh, week one, who the fuck knows? There's always surprises. I guess this will be one of my surprises this week. Is Tennessee running the football, being able to uh, play the Vikings as a bit of a one-dimensional offense, and maybe they find a way to win the game at home. I'll take the Chiefs over the Chargers. Bit of a surprise. Maybe I'll take the Saints at home over the Raiders. I'll take the Bengals on the road to beat the Jets. You know, out of the early games, there are two that are really excited to me. One of them, unfortunately, is not really the Bears taking on the Texans, where, by the way, I have the Texans winning that game. The first one is the Cleveland Browns traveling to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. You've got the skid marks coming to town, the team that should have taken Carson Wentz and was in position to take Carson Wentz. They come into town with RG3 to take on the Philadelphia Eagles, who have Carson Wentz starting. It smells like one of these I-want-to-prove-a-point type of games for the rookie Carson Wentz. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm such a Carson Wentz nut-hugger, as some of you might say, that I'm picking the Eagles here. But this game could either be a really stinker snooze fest, or with two mediocre defenses, this could be a bit of an exciting Week 1 shootout where Carson Wentz makes a statement right away in Week 1 like Mariota did last year in Week 1 against the Buccaneers when he went for 200 yards and four touchdowns. I'll take the Eagles to beat the Browns. I've got Green Bay going over Jacksonville, but this is the other game I'm looking forward to as well. Down in Jacksonville, it's probably going to be really hot and muggy down there. Uh, the Packers have Jordy Nelson coming back. You know, along with Randall Cobb in the passing game, and the Jaguars have Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns, Julius Thomas. Hopefully this will turn into a high-scoring, exciting affair, and it should. This game should be quite a bit of fun. Uh, at the end of the day, I'll just, even on the road, I'll take Aaron Rodgers and the Packers over the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'll take the Ravens to beat the Bills. I already said I'll take the Texans to beat the Bears. In the afternoon games, I'll take the Giants to beat the Cowboys. I'll take the Colts to beat the Lions. The Sunday night matchup, you've got New England without Tom Brady, without Rob Gronkowski, traveling to Arizona to take on Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald, David Johnson, and the Arizona Cardinals. Frankly, if the Patriots had Gronkowski in this game, I'd still pick the Cardinals. Frankly, if the Patriots had Tom Brady and Gronkowski in this game, I probably would still pick the Cardinals. So... It's not going to be any different without Gronkowski and without Tom Brady. I just think the page or the uh, excuse me, the Cardinals are superior team, even if both teams are at full strength, frankly. So I'll take the Cardinals at home on Sunday night. Hopefully, the game is good. Hopefully, then we've got the doubleheader on Monday night, which is always kind of cool. The first game will you would think be the better one. The Steelers traveling to Washington to take on the Redskins. Um, I'll take the Steelers here. You know, there could be some points scored in this game because we, we probably are going to need points scored in that game because you would anticipate the Rams 49ers game at Levi Stadium isn't going to have a ton of scoring. And that's not necessarily because of great defensive play. It's just mediocre offensive play. 
You know, this could be a showdown between Todd Gurley and Carlos Hyde. This could be a showdown between mediocre has-been run-of-the-mill quarterbacks like Case Keenum and Blaine Gabbert. Who the hell knows? We could end up spending more time in this game talking about Colin Kaepernick's national anthem protest because there's not much to talk about in the game. This could be an ugly one. I will take the Rams in this game, but I don't feel very confident about that pick. So again, to recap, I already picked the Panthers and they lost, so that's a great omen for the week to come. I've got the Bucks, Titans, Chiefs, Saints, Bengals, Eagles, Packers, Ravens, Texans, Giants, Colts, Cardinals, Steelers, and Rams. You're more than welcome, as always, to pick against me. Keep tally of my totals for each week. I will keep my tally. Keep your tally for the week as well. We can compete against each other all year long. You can talk shit to me. I don't care. I'm just happy that football season is here, and let's get after it.